Yeah. All right, uh, we're going to start the second part. I noticed a mistake. <laughs> it's a good mistake because this is you will learn how to fix problems with core data. Okay, there is a here the store image. I actually instead of data, I selected date. That need to be date. Okay, and that's date. Uh, sorry, binary data. Okay, and well, we've done that. Now there's a problem. If you do command copy, the description that you generated here still says and as date. Now there is I haven't tried it this way. You can try it to change it here and see if that would work and as data. Or the other way to do it, you will delete these two. Delete and move to trash. And you do it again. Product, I'm sorry, editor. Create, manage the object, next, and then next, and then create. Now, now you have the same classes, but it's fixed. Okay, it's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, but this is this. Is the problem was with the image. In addition to this, I've added an image called Icon JPEG. You can download anything you want and then just an image just to show you how we can store images i'm going to call it icon jpeg and i've created i included a class this class is like a public class it has a method it's called alert i'll explain it so if you want to do it you could do it or just use alert view or you can do print line whatever you want or print so in this class, I have a, a method called static function called function show. I send the message, the title to it, the message that I want to show, and the view controller that will be presenting this uh, alert controller. In here, I create an alert controller with the message, with the title, the message I received, and then this style. I create a button, an, okay, an, an alert action OK. And I have a closure method here, a function, a closure, that when you click on it, this is the action that will be triggered, which is dismiss view controller, okay? And who dismisses the view controller is the one that I'm sending, okay? Which is alert controller. Uh, no, the, alert, the, um, the one that I've created, okay? So the one I'm clearing, uh, the creating, I dismiss it. I add the action button to the alert controller. Finally, I present the alert controller on the screen using the view controller lesson. Now you don't have to do this, but this is, a, instead of doing this in every class that you want to show an alert message, you can create one class like this. And in that class, you can customize it. You can have different functions, if you will. For example, one with the cancel button, one with the, you know, uh, uh, different triggers, if you want, if you will. So this is one way of doing it. Okay, this has nothing to do with core data, but uh, maybe it's a good practice to uh, employ in your application. Okay, let's go back to the view controller. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do is that we want to import core data. So I say import core data. Okay. All right. And the next thing is that we want to get access to, we want to define the manage object context. If you remember from pre the presentation, we need to get the manage object context. So I say let uh, manage object context equal to UI application application dot shared application dot delegate as app delegate that's not you need to as app delegate because it's up uh, you need to unwrap it app delegate dot managed object contents okay why am I all doing all of this? Because the manage object context is actually defined when you say include 
core data it is defined in the app delegate so here in the app delegate you will see the managed object context for the core data okay all right this is all stuff defined here's the managed object context so that's all defined for us okay so we'll go back to the view controller so i got the managed object context in the save what we need to do we need to get the entity description first and we create the entity which is store and then set the values and then we save the data okay so here's my save record what i'm going to do i'm going to say um let Empty the description ad equal um, ns entity um, entity description dot entity for name. Now here you need to give it the name of your entity, which is in this case is what it is called store. Okay. So I'm gonna store, so I'm gonna put stores here. Make sure that it is the same name that you have defined in your core data model, and it should be usually this one here. And the managed object context is the one that we just defined above, which is MOC, okay? After you do this, you need to get the object itself. So let store equal um stores okay and then we need to give it the into the description which is what ed and then we need to give it i think we have to give it the, we have to give the name entity store entity yeah there is a problem with this i don't know why it does not do the autofill maybe in the new release so this is 7.1 maybe in the new release it, it is fixed but you actually have to type this so you'll have to say entity and then you will put the entity description which is ed and then comma um we will have insert into manage object contents Okay, and then MOC, which is the managed object context. Okay. Now uh, we have a problem here because this is need to be unwrapped. All right, that's it. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is that we get the values from the text field and then put them in the store object. So I say store dot uh what do we have here the x uh, i think store this name for example equal txt um name dot text now we need to unwrap this I believe okay let's see if we do it this way we won't error no it's okay and um you will uh do store that <coughs> Uh, store description dot equal txt dot description dot text and store latitude dot store latitude equal txt dot latitude dot text. And store that longitude longitude dot equal to txt and text no 
longitude, sorry, this is longitude. Now we have the image. Now how do you do the image? The image, now I have an image uh, called icon.jpg, so you can do let image equal, image, no, image name, UI image, UI image. And then you put image with name, image. Okay, with name. Here you go. And it is called icon. The name of the image is icon. Dot jpeg. Okay. All right, and then we need to convert the image into data. And I have the code from before. Which is what you do, you just say if you remember this from my other videos, what we do is that we want to convert the image to image data. And the way to do it, you use UI image, JPEG representation, and then you give it the image that you created and then the compression rate okay and then finally you just say store that image uh store image i think store image did we call it store image yeah store image equal image data all right okay what's going on here and resolve image data we do without the A and without the A. Okay, so that's it. Now this is different. This so far all of this is just similar to the ones that we've done before. This is this part is different, and this one is different too, by the way. Okay. Uh, before you just do save object you know you do manage object contents and then save it well here you need to use do and then we have catch okay and i'll tell you what we're catching in a minute what is this thing here do is like you're trying to do a task and this task will produce an error so i'm trying to save data and this saving the data, it might be, it might fail or, or it might succeed. So if it fails, what do we need to do? We need to uh, just play an error. And when it fails, it goes to the catch block. When it succeeds, it continues in the next statement. So let me do this in a minute here. What are we trying to do? We're trying to say try manage object context dot save. And you notice it says throws. Throws what? It throws an exception. And we need to be able to catch that exception in here. So we say let error as, as an as error. An as error. Okay. And what are we doing here? We need to say whether it is, if it's saved, it will go to the next line and we just say, we make all the fields to blank, which is txt um, description dot text equal to blank txt name dot text equal to blank txt dot longitude or latitude dot text equal to blank if I can type and then finally uh, txt longitude dot text equal to blank okay 
I need to hide the keyboard when I click on the save. Now it's already hidden, but if you wanted to do that, you just simply call this function. So you can do self dot self dot um, what do we call it? Hide keyboard, hide keyboard. It's expecting you to send an object. You're not using this object. You can just self send if you want send self and see if that works. Okay. If you want to use that alert class that I told you about, here's how you do it. You say you want to say successful. So you say alert that we have a method function called dot show. The title is going to say success. The message is say your record is save. Save. And here I'll just say the view controller which is self. That's all. That's all you have to do. See how easy it is? Now if I want to display an error, I'll find out what's the error here. Do command V here. Oh this is the problem. Instead of success, we'll say failed. And your record is not saved. See how it is how easy it is instead of creating this duplicating this alert view controller. You could have created a function, but that means in every class you'll have to create that function. All right, let's see if it works. And this is the save. All right. So if you click on play. And hopefully it would work and put some data, some data here. This longitude and latitude don't matter right now. And I'm going to click on save, record is save. All right. And I cleared everything. Well, how do we know if it is there or not? I'm going to show you that in the next video when we do the search. So we type in the record, AAA, or whatever number. And then if it is found, it would display all the information. And it would display the image here, too. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully the next one will take, won't take long.